Hey guys, Pawns here on the PVE, here to talk to you guys about the new Rune and Mastery system, which Riot has just revealed. Now, um, for those of you who want to check this out on your own time, uh, I will be putting a link in the description below. You can just kind of click down there, uh, and it'll take you right to the site. I'm just here to let you guys know this is happening, and also just kind of do a brief overview and try and summarize what's happening here in a rather concise way. Or at least attempt to do it concisely. Uh, so, uh, also, to keep in mind, this is not currently on the PBE. As soon as it is available on the PBE, I'll show you what it all looks like in-game and et cetera, et cetera, and all that stuff. You know, So stay tuned to the channel for that. Um, but I don't actually know when this is going live. It could be going live tomorrow, theoretically, with all the Evelyn stuff. It could be, like, the next patch cycle after this. It's not super clear. It is a rather large system, so I imagine they want a lot of time to test it out. Um, it'll most likely be going live, or at least Riot wants it to go live, on November 8th with the start of the Season 8 preseason. Um, so there's going to be a rather extended, you know, feeling out period for that. Uh, now also note that Season 8 is not slated to start until early 2018. So there's quite a big gap there. But um, anyway, live, this system most likely live on November 8th. PBE not 100% certain on yet. Um, now anyway, getting into what this is all about... Um, basically, to boil it down into sort of simple terms, they've merged the rune system and, or the rune system and the um, the mastery system into one kind of big thing. And oddly enough, it more closely resembles the mastery system by well a long shot. But they are calling the things you slot in runes, so they're kind of keeping the names. But anyway. To make it simple, it's effectively a more complicated, or not even complicated, it's more like, a, it's a more, I guess, encompassing, overarching mastery system that's designed to include the buffs you would get from runes. So anyway, uh, how it works here is the there's a, a several things you pick. There's the precision, I'm going to call them trees because it's easier to use the old terminology. So there's the precision tree, there's the domination tree, there's the sorcery tree, there's a resolve tree, and then there's an inspiration tree. So just to boil it down into even simpler terms, AD carry, <laughs> bruiser fighter-ish thing, uh, mage tree, tank tree, and uh, utility support tree. So it's kind of like, I guess, they broke up the offensive, the old offense tree into three things. The tank tree or the defense tree or whatever you want to call it stays the same. And then there's still a utility slash um, support tree. Anyway, so uh, what you do here, if you click on these, there's a bunch of videos showing you stuff. I'm not going to sit here going through all these videos because we're going to be here for the next six years. Um, and I'm sure you guys have things to do. So if you want to check that out, do it on your own time. Um, so yeah, basically what you do is you pick your one primary tree. Now, let's suspend our uh, disbelief here and pretend I'm playing an AD carry. Uh, Pawns with an AD carry, it's hilarious. Um, so we're going to pick the precision AD, what I call the AD carry tree, although I'm sure you could use it on other people. Uh, and how it's going to work is there's one primary, like, keystone slot here. So th this top tier thing is essentially the equivalent of the old top tier key keystone in the mastery system. So for example, we have pre you can pick between one of these three. Press the attack, which is like the old, I think it's called bloodlust or whatever the hell it was, with the stacking AD damage. Um, then there's something new here called uh, lethal tempo, which is, well, I'll just read it out. 1.5 seconds after damaging a champion, gain a large amount of attack speed. Lethal Temple allows you to temporarily exceed the attack speed limit. So it's like that old Kogma thing they removed from the game quite some time ago. Uh, and then lastly here, we have Fleet, uh, fleet Footwork. Attacking and moving builds uh, energy stacks. At 100 stacks, your next attack heals you and grants increased movement speed. So it's actually like, it, it's a thing that never had anything to do with runes or masteries. It, this is like the old, or the current, I guess, static shiv thing, except it gets built into the character. Don't ask me if it stacks with static shiv and whatnot, I have no idea. Um, so yeah, you can pick one of these. So let's say, well, let's be, well, let's be exciting. Let's pick this, the, uh, the pseudo new thing and pick that. And then there are a whole, uh, three more slots, which you get to pick three more things for. Um, so, you know, just pick, don't mind what they are. Again, if you were curious of what they are, again, look for yourselves. So we're going to pick Overheal, uh, Alacrity, and Coup de Gras. So these are like lesser things. They're, they're not quite on the tier of this um, the, the major Keystone Mastery thing or Rune or whatever it is. But, uh, yeah, they, they still give you stuff. Now, here's where the secondary tree plays in. Um... When you pick a secondary tree, you're going to get a certain amount of stats. Now, the stat that you get is based on your primary tree, so pr it's precision. So, uh, unless you pick Inspiration, but we'll talk about that later. Inspiration is kind of a weird case. Um, so, yeah, Precision, no matter what you pick as your secondary thing, you will always gain attack speed. So, this is kind of like functioning how runes used to. 
so yeah, if you pick, let's say um, I pick precision plus domination, so I'm going like 80 carry tree plus bruiser, bruiser tree, I'm going to get 12 attack speed. Uh, and then from there, you're going to be able to pick two out of the six sort of lesser runes that you would be able to pick in these slots here. So by picking a secondary, you don't get to pick the major keystone rune, but you do get to pick um, two out of the six lesser runes. And they can't be on the same uh, line, by the way. So for example, this first row here, I could pick Zombie Ward, Ghost Poro, or Eyeball Collection. So I pick one of these. Let's go Eyeball Collection. Um, notice the two here, they're grayed out. You can't stack two from the same line, but I can pick uh, one more from one of these remaining six. So we're just going to pick, I don't know, Sudden Impact or something like that. Uh, now again, remember earlier I said the stat you gain is always the same? So Precision always gets accompanied by Attack Speed. Uh, so the attack speed amount is the same no matter what, unless you pick Inspiration, aka Support slash Utility Tree, in which case you get 18. You get more stats if you pick that one. Presumably because, I don't know, Riot's worked out the math and the stats behind picking that are worse or something. But Anyway, uh, let me just kind of like briefly go over other things here. So this is the Domination Tree. Uh, I'm not going to go over individual runes. That's going to take forever. If you're interested... Like I said, the link's available for you in there. So when you pick a secondary tree with domination, what you end up getting is attack dam or uh, ability power or attack damage adaptively. I'm not sure if that means you pick at the beginning or if the game detects what you want and gives it to you. But either case, it doesn't. I suppose it's probably not going to matter too much. Um, outside of maybe niche cases. But in any case, like I said, you're going to go get the 10 attack power or ability power or 7 attack damage. Or if you pick the um, the inspiration tree, the utility tree, you gain 15 ability power or 10.5 attack damage. So note again, picking utility just gives you more in terms of raw stats. Um, sorcery, incidentally, sorcery gives you the same stuff as domination uh, for the stat you get, you, but more. So uh, in this case, you're getting 15 ability power or 10.5 attack speed. Or if you pick the utility tree, 22.5 ability power, which is quite a bit, uh, or 15.8 attack damage adaptively. Um, now just to show you guys the resolve tree, so the tank tree, that's going to give you raw HP, so 70 or 105 uh, based on your secondary tree. And inspiration, inspiration again I noted as the exception. This is actually going to give you different stats based on what you pick as your secondary. So for example, um, it's always going to give you 20% potion and elixir duration, but it's going to give you a secondary stat based on which secondary thing you picked. So if you pick the AD carry tree, attack speed. Bruiser tree is going to give you attack ability power attack damage. Um, sorcery tree is going to give you ability power attack damage again. Or tank tree is going to give you um, hit points. Pretty simple stuff. Hope you guys get it. Um, now keep in mind... <sighs> Now, in terms of what I sort of think about this system, it looks really flashy and different, but really when you boil everything down, it looks similar. Like, all the systems in the game... Well, for the, there are some things that are totally different. But by and large, what you can pick is something that already, for the most part, exists in the game. It's just been retooled, reshuffled around, reworked, and you can kind of combine it in novel ways. But it's not like League of Legends is changing on some core fundamental level and it's not going to, you know, you're not going to be able to recognize the game. In the sense that, you know, Riot probably wants the game to be very, you know, at the same time similar but different. I think they've kind of probably gone as far as they can or as far as they are, they're comfortable with going with this stuff. Um, because again, for example, like there's still the bloodlust thing, and there's stuff that's sort of new, like this lethal tempo, and then there's stuff that wasn't necessarily attached to a mastery system or a rune system before, but does technically still exist in the game, like the fleet of foot and like the whole stacking, um, static shiv system. Um, now again, again, there's also some stuff that's mixed. For example, Grasp of the Undying is similar to the old Grasp of Undying, but they kind of mixed in a Scion passive a little bit. Uh, and the lesser runes do have stuff that's sort of new, but at the same time, again, stuff that technically exists in the game, like Overgrowth, which is sort of like a pseudo-scion passive uh, attached to a rune and whatnot. Um, now, again, there are some new things. A lot of it has to do with uh, like the summoner. This is kind of neat, I guess, the summoner tree here. Um, summoner specialist. Get summoner shards and exchange them at the shop to change your summoner spells, which is kind of interesting. Um, and then there's like a lesser one here. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, 
Hextex Flash Flash Traptation, which is hard to say. While Flash is on cooldown, it is replaced by Hex Flash. Hex Flash Channel, then blink to a new location or um, Futures Market. You can enter debt to buy items. So novel, I don't know how game changing it's going to be. For example, like going into debt to buy items, I imagine like there's going to be a pretty stringent cap. Like it's not going to be in the thousands. I'm, you know, I can pretty much guarantee you. Um, but most likely this is going to be, while sounding interesting, it's going to be sort of a niche case usage where like, oh, you just screwed up because you weren't paying attention and you're 30 gold short and you really want that long sword or whatever. And, you know, this will allow you to buy that early, like a little bit early. Or, you know, a fight, you can probably think it's going to happen, but you're, you know, 100 gold short late game and you want to farm out that one way, but oh my god, everyone's a bear and I got to back and buy the item now kind of thing, like... Sort of, yeah, again, again, kind of a niche case thing. So anyway, we'll see how this all plays out. Like I said, I don't think it's going to be massively game-changing or as kind of as significant as Riot wants you to think it is, but it is interesting. Um, now, beyond that, there is some more stuff. I'm going to kind of go over this briefly. Uh, level 30 and beyond, there's no more level cap. It's, it's designed to get you to level 30 faster, um, but then from there on out, you, you just keep leveling forever to continue getting sort of... Because the whole re IP reward system which we'll talk about in a minute, has basically been tied into leveling. So when you level, you get stuff. Um, the IP system itself has also been merged with the, uh, what's it called again? The Blue Essence or whatever it was called. It's the crafting crap that I don't pay attention to. Yeah, Blue Essence. So it was mixed into a single system. Um, now, I think the main worry people are going to have, like, I, 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 again, this is coming from my perspective, so maybe it's sort of a bit flawed, but I get the impression that people's main concern here is less about how this actually works and whether or not they're going to get screwed over by the system when they transfer over. It's like, how much stuff am I going to lose as a result of this? I think probably Riot is going to be extremely careful with that, and, and as far as I can tell from my reading, um, you're not going to lose anything. Um, if anything, I'd probably want to err on the, the side of, you know, being cautious and, like, giving people a little bit more than anything. Um, because people, people, people get pissed off when they have anything taken away from them, or even the perception exists they have something taken away from them. So your, your stuff, your hoard is fine, I, I imagine. Um, and they're adding a bunch of tchotchkes here that I don't care about, like, um, you know, summoner icons or, you know, whatever the hell. Uh, the main takeaway from this for me is that uh, the, there are people out there like me uh, who just sit on a pile of 6 trillion IP. So, well, I mean, to be more accurate, I think I have over 200,000 IP or something. And so there's this giant horde that's never going to get spent. And they're introducing sort of ways for people like me to spend all that IP that was never going to get spent. And theoretically, the idea is then once I'm out of IP because I was busy buying, you know, some kind of limited edition skin for 100, 150,000 IP, um, that I will now spend my RP to, uh, or spend uh, money to buy RP to actually buy champions and, you know, whatnot. <laughs> that's not going to happen, at least not in my case. But, uh, you know, that's probably the idea there. Uh, so anyway some changes again with leveling and all that the main thing the stuff that's going to actually affect you in game is this whole rune and mastery system i wouldn't worry about the leveling stuff too much well, unless you are actively leveling or something which is what how many like three of you guys out there but anyway uh well, that's the new system don't worry about the other stuff it won't affect you in game runes and masteries pretty significant change but I doubt it's going to be as groundbreaking as Riot wants to make it out to be, but interesting. We'll see how it all plays out on the PBE when that's available. So anyway, that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Probably have to go stream for a little bit, uh, but uh, that's that's it for me uh, until yeah, more from the PBE. See you guys around. Goodbye.